Okay, now it's time for our uh, fourth, yeah, fourth part of our of my birthday special. This t I've won over one hundred thirty nine thousand forty eight dollars. Will I be able to add more as I play Jeopardy Second Edition? Hi folks, I'm Johnny Gilbert. Let's just take care of a little business, then we'll get the options will let you fine-tune the game just the way you want to. Normal game, okay? So how many people out there? Player one? Player one, here's your buzz in key. Alright, let's get started. It's showtime. From the Sony Pictures Studio. Thank you very much. Here are Let's get things underway. Player one. College and universities, they almost start in, in the kitchen with Ivan. Uh, noted scribes, things I wish I'd said, and possible Player one, clues you used. Choose. College and universities for 100. This Midwest school's athletic teams are called the Hoosiers. Player one. What is Indiana? Exactly. Colleges and universities for two. Badger alumni know Michael Jackson acquired rights to this school's fight song from Paul McCartney. Player one. What is Wisconsin? Yes. Universities for three. This Michigan school's East Lansing campus has the USA's largest college food service operation. Player one. What is Michigan State? Absolutely. Pick again. Un all right, colleges and universities for 400. After the Civil War, Georgetown University chose these school colors to signify the union of the North and South. What is Player blue one. and gray? No, what are blue and gray? Right, keep going. You control the board. All right, colleges for five. In accordance with the founder's will, this Houston University was tuition-free from 1912 to 1965. Player one. What is rice? Exactly. Okay, um, crossword clues you for 100? Ivory soap or Molly Brown. Ten letters. Anyone? Unsinkable. This is correct question. Crossword clues you for two. Cow part that's got milk. Five letters. Player what one. is the udder? Absolutely. Pick again. Crossword clues you for three hundred. Leading man in a theater or at a wedding. Five letters. Player one. What is usher? You're correct. Uh, 400. Crossword clues. The Brits call it a brawly. Eight letters. Player two. What is an umbrella? Absolutely. Umbrella. Pick again. Let's try they almost starred in. For 100, please. This actor, seen here, was offered the role of Frankenstein's monster before Boris Karloff. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Anyone? Player two? Who was Lon Chaney Jr.? Nice try, no. but that is incorrect. Nobody? Take a look. Here's the Bella right Lugosi. response. Bella Lugosi. Let's go with In the Kitchen with Ivan for 100, Alex. Ikra is the Russian name for this fishy delicacy, which Ivan serves with toast or bellini. Player two? What are anchovies? No, that's not right. Sorry. Anybody? Here's what we were looking for. Let's try things I wish I'd said for 100. In 1983, he said, we at Chrysler borrow money the old-fashioned way. We pay it back. 
Player one. Who is Daimler? Oh, regrettably, no. no. Nobody? This the is the correct question. Let's do noted scribes for 100. Shortly after arriving in France in 1924, he completed the Great Gatsby. Player one. Who is F. Scott Fitzgerald? Absolutely. Pick again. Noted scribes for 200. While serving as an ambulance driver, this old man in the sea author was injured. Player three. Who was Ernest Hemingway? Ernest Hemingway. Yes. Noted scribes for 300. He's written plays based on his works, including Dandelion Wine and Fahrenheit 451. Player two. Who is Ray Bradbury? Absolutely. Pick again. Noted scribes for 400, please, Alex. This colorful essayist wrote children's stories, including Charlotte's Web. Player one. Who's E.B. White? That's it, exactly. All right, noted scribes for 500. He wrote 1984. Player one. Who is George Orwell? Exactly. Yes. All right, crossword clues you for 500. In the city, five letters. Player one. What is urban? That's right, pick again. Okay, uh, things I wish I said for 200. Attributed to Samuel Goldwyn. Any man who goes to one of these people ought to have his head examined. Player one. What is a psychiatrist? Absolutely. Pick again. Things I wish I said for three. Touch a scientist and you touch a child, said this Martian Chronicles author. Is that it? Anyone? What we were looking for oh, was Ray this. Bradbury. We just had that. Things I wish I said for four. John Buchan defined this kind of skeptic as a man who has no invisible means of support. Nobody? This is the correct Atheist. question. Things I wish I said for five. P.G. Wodehouse defined it as the only one real cure for gray hair. It was invented by a Frenchman. Player three. What is the guillotine? Precisely. I'd like in the kitchen with Ivan for 200. To make a crush kasut, Ivan needs kvass, a beer-like beverage made from a dark rye type of this. Anyone? Player one. What is bread? Absolutely. Yes. Pick again. Ivan for three. Harcho, a spicy soup from the Caucasus, is made from this meat that's older than lamb. Player two. What is mutton? That's right. Pick again. Echo, echo. In the kitchen with Ivan. For 400, please, Alex. Ivan makes this chicken dish named for Ukraine's capital, so the butter squirts out when you cut it. Nobody? Player two? What is Odessa? No. I'm sorry. Player one. What is Kiev? Absolutely. Yes. Pick again. In the kitchen with Ivan for 500. Thin slices of tender beef go into this entree named for a count and served in a rich sour cream sauce. Player two. What is beef stroganoff? Stroganoff. Yes. Let's go for They Almost Starred In for 200. Anne Bancroft turned down the role of Nurse Ratched in this film. Louise Fletcher must be grateful. Player three. What is One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest? Exactly. They almost starred in for 300, please, Alex. Answer? Oh, the Daily Double. Daily Double. Could you make your wager, please? 400. Director George Stevens considered starring Grace Kelly in this 1956 film based on an Edna Ferber novel. Player three. What is Giant? Yep. That's it, exactly. They almost starred in 
for 400 feet. The role of Joe Buck in this film made John Boyd a star, but it was originally meant for Michael Sarazen. Player three. What is Midnight Cowboy? Exactly. And to wrap up this board, Liam Neeson might have seized the day in this 1989 film, but Robin Williams starred instead. Player what one. is Dead Poets Society? Exactly. That's the end of the Jeopardy round. Let's take a look at the scores. You're off to a fantastic start, Player One. You're still in the thick of it, Player Three. Player Two, you're in last place, but you do oh. get to start things on first. <laughs> Just in and, uh, Jeopardy. easily, Player Two will go last. We'll go first, ladies and gentlemen. Player Two will go first. Let's go for fish for two hundred, please, Alex. Heaven, I'm in heaven when I see the queen type of this fish. Player two? What is the cherub fish? Oh, no, sorry. No, sorry. <laughs> Nobody? <laughs> this is what we wanted. Oh, Let's go for... Heaven. Who was that masked man? For 200, please? In 1988, Michael Crawford picked up a Tony for playing the masked title role in this musical. Anyone? Player one. Who is the mask? Good guess. No. But it's not what we're looking for. Is that it? Anyone? Here's what we're Phantom looking for. Phantom of the Opera. Let's try the 1940s for 200, please. On May 13th, 1940, this prime minister told Britain's House of Commons, I have nothing to offer but blood, toil, tears, and sweat. Player three. Who is Winston Churchill? That's who we were looking for. The 1940s for 400, please. Popular songs of the decade included Tennessee Waltz and Deep in the Heart of This State. Player one. Is, what is Texas? Absolutely. Pick again. The 1940s for 600. Things developed rapidly after this Edwin Land camera went on sale in 1948. Player one. What is Nikon? No, that's no. not right. Sorry. <sighs> Nobody? Nobody? <laughs> Take a look. Polaroid Here's the right land response. Camera. 1940s for 800. In May 1941, the Bismarck, a battleship of this country, sank the HMS Hood. Nobody? This Germany. Is question. 1940s for a hundred, a thousand. On July 1st, 1946, the U.S. detonated its first atomic bomb since World War II at this swimsuit atoll. Player one. What is bikini? Right, you are. <laughs> okay, let's try fish for 400. You would expect to hear this fish say, Holly wants a cracker. If you just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player one. What is a parrot fish? You're in fine form, <laughs> so pick again. Uh, fish for Beware. 600. This fish with a leonine name has extremely poisonous spines. Player one. What is a lion fish? Exactly. Fish for eight. This scary looking eel has razor sharp teeth, but extremely poor eyesight. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player one. What is a moray? That's, That's the, the critter, critter we're looking, looking for. for. <laughs> All right, 80s rock for 200. In 1988, <laughs> they released the concert tour documentary, Rattle and Hum. Player one. Who are you two? Exactly. Uh, 80s rock for four? They had two number one hits in 1980. Crazy little thing called love, and another one bites the dust. Player one. Uh, who are queen? Very good. Pick again. <laughs> 80s rock for in 600. In 1986, she was in control with a hit album that included What Have You Done For Me Lately? Anyone at all? 
This is Janet the correct Jackson. question. A fish for a thousand. This orange fish is also known as a slime head. Player three. What is orange roughy? Exactly. Let's try U.S. place names for 200, please, Alex. John Smith recorded the name of this river as Potawomac, but it's now called this. Anyone at all? This is the correct Potomac. question. I'll try the big 4-0 for 200, Alex. He was 40 in 1974 when he broke the all-time career home run record. Player one. Who is Hank Aaron? That's who we were looking for. Uh, big 4-0 for 400. At age 40 in 1781, this American trader moved to London, but was denied military service. Nobody? Player two? Who was Aaron Burr? Ooh. No. Sorry. Anyone? Player one. Who is Nathan Hale? No. No. Too bad. Is that it? Player Anyone? three, you're not going to try it. This is the question. Benedict correct. Arnold. The big 4-0 for 600. In 1810, this 40-year-old married the teenager Marie Louise of Austria. Player two, who was Napoleon? Robin the Cradle. <laughs> That's correct. The big 4-0. For 800, please. This 40-year-old former shipyard electrician from Poland won the 1983 Nobel Peace Prize. Anyone at all? Here's what we were looking for. Lechwalesa. The big 4-0. For 1,000. And two. Oh. The Daily Double. Where two found the Daily Double. Second Daily Double. Did you make your wager, please? 1,000. In 1919, 40-year-old Nancy Astor was elected to this country's parliament. Player two. What is the United Kingdom? Exactly. Echo, echo. Let's who was that masked man? For 400, please, Alex. The title of this category comes from an offset phrase on this classic radio and TV show. Player three. What is the Green Hornet? Good answer, but no. sorry. That's wrong. Anyone at all? This is the correct the question. The Lone Ranger. I'll try U.S. place names for 400. Mark Twain could have told you this Missouri town of his youth was named for a Carthaginian. Anyone? Take a look. Here's the right response. Let's go for... Who was that masked man? For 600, Alex. In films, he's Don the Riddler's mask and the title mask in the mask. Player one. Who's Jim Carrey? Absolutely. Pick again. Who was that masked man for 800? In a 1998 film, Catherine Zeta-Jones fell for and dueled with this masked man. Player one. Who is Zorro? That's correct. Masked man for a thousand? A newswire reported this singer and king of pop disguised as an Arab woman shopping in a Munich toy store. Player Who's one. Who's Michael Jackson? Absolutely. Pick again. All right. Um, U.S. place names for 600. And two. The Daily Double. Could you make your wager, please? Uh, let's try 500. Appropriately, the name of this big Florida lake is a Seminole word for big water. Player one. What is Okeechobee? All right. Yes. Yes, place names for 800. Sailors once thought they had found gems at this extinct Hawaiian volcanic crater. Hence, it's gem of a name. Player two. What is Diamond Head? 
Exactly. exactly. U.S. place names for 1,000. This Illinois city that grew up around Northwestern University is named for one of its founders. Anyone? Player two? What is Rockford? No, that's not right. Sorry. Player one. What is Champagne? No. Ooh, no, sorry. Anyone at all? What we were Evanston. looking for was this. Let's do 80s rock for 800, please. In 1984, this rock band leaped to the top of the charts with the song Jump. Player one. Who is who are Van Halen? Exactly. And Final to category. wrap up Final this clue. board. After going roundabout, this group returned to the charts in 1983 with owner of a lonely heart. Player one. Who is yes? Exactly. Let's see how all the players are doing after the double jeopardy round. Player one, you've got the lead going into final jeopardy. You're not far off the pace, player three. You're still in contention, player two. I want to consider that in contention. Final jeopardy. It's that time, folks. Final jeopardy. We'll take a look at the category, and then we'll give you a couple of seconds to think about your wager. Musical theater. Mm. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Make, make your, your wager. wager. Player two, your wager, please. Player three, could we have your wager, please? Player one, please make your wager. The final Jeopardy answer is as follows. Good luck, everyone. In France, this musical that became a movie was known as Briantine. In Mexico, it was Vaselina. Oh. I'm gonna guess Annie. What is Annie? All right, let's see how everyone did. Your question. Nothing. Two. Sorry, that's incorrect. How much did it cost player you? Player two went up with nothing. Your question, player Hair? Three. No, I'm sorry. What's that going to cost? Oh! Your question, player one. I think I just one. figured out. Sorry, that's hair wrong. Hairspray. I think How it was hairspray. Take a look. Here's the right Oh, response. it was grease. Vaseline. Congratulations yes, uh, to our winner. Grease. Five from the winner with seven thousand four hundred dollars. Not a pig. Hope you had fun. Not a pig went. We'll see you again on Jeopardy. Hi folks, I'm Johnny. Good enough to add to Let's my bank. Let's just get a few details out of the way before we start our game. All right, let's add that to my birthday bank, and I'll see you all later for part five.